bringing people together through art. What an amazing way to do that. Today, I'm again um, catching up with Angela Thowlis of Tribe All. Uh, my name is Donna Christie. I'm the founder of Neslib, which is Northeast Scotland Ladies and Lads in Business. And I can't wait for you to hear of what's going on in the world of Angela and Tribe All. <laughs> what she's just told me has blown me away. So I'm not going to share any more. I'm going to let it go over to Angela. So hello, Angela. Great to see you again. Um, so Angela, let's have a really quick snippet of history about how, what Tribe All is, how it got started. <laughs> let's go step by step where you're moving on to. Incredible. And where you are. So where are you? I'm here in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Uh, so I guess the Starbuck story of Tribal is that I'm a local artist who uh, is heavily into street art. I, when the very first year that the New Art Aberdeen Festival came to Aberdeen, I worked there as one of the volunteers, met up with a lot of local people who were also interested in street art, which at that time I thought it was just me, but there was a whole group of people. Uh, we set up the Throw Up Gallery, where we run a lot of workshops. They've done a lot of local projects. And Tribal started off as an idea of how we could use up the old spray cans that we'd used. It was an idea for a children's workshop where I just started drawing tribal faces on cans. And that's really how it started. Um, I showed the artwork at Aberdeen Fashion Week. Some of the designers there said, have you ever thought about putting this on a garment? So I decided I was going to start off with T-shirts because it's something that everybody wears, regardless of age, gender. Everybody wears T-shirts in the summer, winter. They can be styled in different ways. So that's really how Tribal started. Excellent. So T-shirts, um, I, I, the core of it is like a black background? Um, they're black or white. I only offer them in two sizes, uh, two colours, because I realised that they kind of go with everything. They're easy to accessorise rather than offering them in too many different variations. Excellent. You wouldn't happen to have one to hand, would you? Unfortunately, no, it's Not upstairs a problem. right now. We'll, we'll... <laughs> we should have, I should been, have more... been wearing one. We should yes. have been more prepared. Not a problem. I well, have. That'll, that'll get people to, I'll, I'll stick your link up and connect you yeah. uh, after this video. No problem. Um, so well, it's a great logo. I love it. So mm. I'll, we'll make yeah. sure we'll, we'll pop that under the, the marketing as well for you. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I met you, uh, well, I saw you at a uh, business gateway. Uh, you did a presentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, was it last year? I don't know, time is yeah. flying by. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I saw you. I was very inspired for your story anyway. And then you became a, a member in Neslib. So um, Aberdeen Fashion Week, what else has been happening? And share that big news with everybody. What's going on? Well, back in February, I was asked to be part of well, the T-shirts were showcased at Urban Music Awards. Um, and at that event, a company called Fashion Crossover London was there, saw my designs, got in touch just after it to say they really liked them. They thought it had great potential uh, and they wanted to work with me. So I'm actually signed to that company in London. So they, I have a PR manager. They do all the photo shoots that people see online. Uh, they do a lot of the social media posting. Um, I just now, obviously, due to COVID, it's been great to have their support because uh, without them, you know, it would have been really difficult to have been seen, be heard, be found. So mm -hmm. they've certainly helped a lot and they're doing, you know, as much as they possibly can in the situation. Uh, they, they have a showroom down there. So, you know, the, right. the, the T-shirts get used with the other uh, designers labels as well. So they do these photo shoots that kind of incorporate lots of other people's designs as well as my own. I've seen um, them and they're so amazing good. shots. Amazing, oh, yeah. Fantastic. amazing. Fantastic. Um, so that's the London. Um, yeah. I know you're in a magazine and you're going European. So keep going, share, share yes. it. Yes. I'm so, so excited for you. <laughs> again, because these things have been, you know, uh, the people in London have been helping to put things on social media. I was then contacted by Event Savo, which is Milan Fashion Week. Um, so I had to fill in an application for that, which I've just been told I've been successful for. So next September, Tribal shall be getting shown in this. There's a, the, the beginning of the show is undiscovered labels that maybe haven't been seen so widely yet in Europe. So Tribal shall be featured in Milan Fashion Week. That's incredible. Absolutely. <laughs> <actually blur. laughs> just seems when, you, when you just said, I'm off to Milan, I'm like, what? <laughs> That's just bonkers, right? Aberdeen to it Milan. Is. Why not? I know. <laughs> well yeah 
why not? Absolutely. Our local can go global. So yes, <laughs> absolutely. And and also some marketing and literature I hear um, coming yep, up so in, in December. Yes, I'm going to be in the Christmas L decoration, which is one of the most sought after publications of the year. So again, uh, they contacted Fashion Crossover London to say they wanted to run editorial on that. Um, and I made sure that Neslib has got a good mention in there as well. So oh, go out and buy the magazine. She'll be out in December. Wow. So um, I need to get the information. What was the magazine called? Uh, L, um, L-U-K. L-U-K, as in yeah, L. It'll... E-L-L. E-L, OK. UK. Well, we'll put it'll the be... link up as well yeah. um, under this. You it'll be out that. in November because they always put them out a month beforehand, but it's the Christmas edition it'll be in. So we'll be able to see your tribal yes. in there as well yes. so that's Certainly one for so. us to buy for some bedtime reading that would be amazing yeah, yeah. um so with going from Aberdeen to <laughs> to Milan I'm still blown away oh, I can't I believe what you just said um uh we best get some t-shirts right before it goes yes. like designer yes. and uh, yeah way out of my yeah. <laughs> wow <laughs> excellent no that's amazing I've seen some of the designs and we will put up some links for everybody but do check it out Tribal's obviously going global um and just the, it all started in Aberdeen that's amazing amazing I wish you much success Thanks. and uh yeah when you're rich and famous I do love a glass I'll of champagne all my friends. oh yeah you're fine <laughs> yeah. yeah any any kind of bubbles will do for me okay yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's not going to change me in the slightest no always stay humble always stay humble exactly. that's a good thing um, well, it's a pleasure to know you and I wish you so much success, you know, and uh, I think I might just book a ticket to come to Milan and support yes, you. Yes, let's well, all go. Let's Nes go. Nesla road trip. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and there's live road trip. I can imagine the girls going, yep, we're there. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for your time, Angela. And we'll, no we'll get the links up for you and um, congratulations. But I take Thanks. care. Thanks. And speak to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks.